Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a DSX auxiliary pump. That way we can go uh, E85 on the car. Uh, fuel pressure is already maxed out, so this is pretty much the kit right here. Some of your pump, the bracket, the lines, the, uh, I guess the computer that controls the, the pump and your harness. And we also dig, also get instructions. Um, I like that the instructions. It looks pretty straightforward. Um, so first step is like remove the fender liner. Uh, you all you require some uh, torque fits and uh, maybe like a 10 mil, I think. But uh, I guess the only scary part about this uh, install is the the hole you got to drill in your gas tank. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, DSX wants you to tap the. I'm gonna make a hole and then tap it uh, on the gas tank. So I got my. Uh, gas gallon whatever ready for the fuel and that falls off uh i did drive the car to like it was like flashing the empty light or whatever but i don't know how much fuel is in there so uh first step is uh, to tap it uh there is a specific size so you need a this needs to be a 38 38 uh, 18 or something like that and then the to drill the hole you need to have a 37 by 64 uh, drill bit, but uh, I think they sell it on the website. I just bought mine from the store, but uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so uh, it's kind of hard to film everything while, while I'm working on it, um, so I'm just gonna go through everything very detailed. Um, so, first thing I did was remove the fender liner. Second thing was tap the hole, which will be in the in the instruction that tells you where exactly. So, so you want to tap it right in front of that um, sticker or barcode, whatever it has. And then, you know, just tap it, and then uh, thread it, obviously. And then uh, just be very careful. Make sure it's a clean hole, and uh, and uh, make sure you take your time with it. And then after that, after you put that on, you put on the, I put, well, I put on the, the little um, hose thingy, and I put that sealing coat, or sealant they uh, provide. Just put it all around the thread and sure it's in there, and then, uh, you know, put it all around and stuff, and I uh, just tighten, tighten it to where it's pretty snug. And then after that. Okay, so for the auxiliary line, I had to adjust mine to look like this. Mine was slightly pointing a little bit more up. So make sure yours looks like this. And in the second picture, you can get a better idea of where to run the line and how the harness sits. Okay, so right after you uh, tap that hole and thread it and put in the, t uh, the fitting, um, you know, just leave that there. Uh, come over here, back over here to the fender, inside the fender well. You're gonna remove the little clip that's in here. It's a little green clip connected to the, so, some line. So what you wanna do is, you gotta kinda lift the clip up to unlock it and then just push down and pull it out and it should uh, unplug and then after you do that uh, DSX provides you with a little fitting that goes in right in between both of them so before you put that fitting connect this line to it uh, tighten it already that way you don't have to tighten it um, from out here so tighten it and then put it in there so clip on this side and then uh, clip on that side and make sure you lock it with the cl green clip and after that you want to kind of just assemble your your you know your bracket and your put your pump on your bracket uh, outside the car, uh, get it all ready and stuff, and also put your positive and negative terminal terminals for the little computer thing. And after you get it all set it up, put it in the car. Uh, it was this bolt and that bolt that you removed. You were using the same bolt. Uh, put that in, and um, and she just sit like that. And after you, you know, after you get it in, connect this hose up here, and then connect the other hose, and then connect to the other fitting. And then after that, uh, you know, I plug in the plug in the harness, kind of run it through the bag. Mine just, I kind of just run it through the bag. I probably put some zip ties right now, so it looks much cleaner. And then after that, I just put in the, the pump back in there, connect this hose up here, and then connect the one down here. Run that one all the way to your gas tank, and then just kind of zip tie it. That way it's not like all everywhere. So just make it look pretty. And, uh, and then to, to connect the computer, you just remove this bolt, you use the same bolt. Put it back in there and then over here I didn't put a bowl. You can maybe make one but it's pretty tight on there. 
So that's pretty much it. And then after that, I just put on the the fender liner, test the car, turn it on, make sure there's no uh, gas leaking or anything like that. But uh, just check, make sure everything's tight. Make sure take your time with it. Uh, I am so uh, so yeah. So I'm. I hope this helps. I'm not a mechanic, like I said. So just you know, follow, if you want to follow my steps, just be careful. I'm not an expert. So again. So yeah, I'm not an expert guy, so uh, you know, I just kind of did it. I follow the instructions and everything. Everything should be right. Uh, I feel pretty confident about it. Don't hold me to it if you're doing this yourself. But, uh, but if you watch this video, thank you. Subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, see you in the next one.